Welcome to Greensboro, North Carolina for the 2012 USMS Spring Nationals here at the new Greensboro Aquatic Center. I'm Enie Jones and I'm a distance swimmer and every year I look forward to coming to Spring Nationals. Not only to see old friends, but also to make new friends. Come on in and check out the facility. about being in a new state-of-the-art facility is we have Colorado time systems for the touch pads. They're connected all the way to the touch pads on the wall, but this year, for the first time ever, we have relay judging platforms that test not only your reaction time, but also have LED lights to help you get started. Take your mark. This pool should be fast. The lane ropes are six inches wide compared to the older style of lane rope that is four inches wide. This should keep the water fairly calm. The gutters actually have 18 inches in depth and most gutters have about six inches. So there's no excuse to not swim fast in this pool. The ideal depth for a pool to have low turbidity is nine feet. This pool starts at nine feet and gradually increases over 150 feet to 10 feet. So it should be very still. Here in the Greensboro Aquatic Center in the grandstands, there are 1,950 seats and not a bad seat in the house. Uh, it took 10 years of uh, a group of people that were very interested in bringing this facility forward. Local swimming organizations got behind it, uh, all of them got behind it. Uh, this is a very receptive uh, community for family-driven projects. Uh, we've had uh, a total of 50 events here, many of which are very small high school, uh, regional uh, events. But this event, it took three years to get to this point, and we try to make it a statewide participation for master swimming. It takes about 400 to 450 volunteers, 4,000 volunteer hours, just to start to meet and to end it. Uh, probably half of them are coming from the triad, from Winston-Salem, Greensboro. Some of them are not far from here. Raleigh Area Masters came in with 20 volunteers who are helping with registration. Uh, we were able to probably have, uh, we probably have 15 to 20 organizations that have been supporting it. And uh, we, you know, we've got them all together. It is, if not the largest, certainly one of the largest swimming competitions in the entire United States. And uh, in North Carolina, this will be the largest in history. A lot of hands and great volunteer. I love it's volunteer. So, you know, that's the tremendous part. I have been certainly in the trenches here. I think that's an important part for anybody who's kind of leading an event. Uh, this event is really important because it was the first event awarded to this facility. It was awarded ahead of the actual construction of this facility. So it was the first time in Masters history that they had done that. And that leap of faith uh, not only was great for us as a state and a local community, but for this facility and all the other things that have happened since. It's been over two years of excitement as we've watched it from that first shovel in the ground and the vision that we had to be here today. And um, the Masters National Meet was actually the first meet that we, we booked before we were even built. So that makes this week probably the most special meet to all of us that have been involved from the beginning to have it sit on this property with the 6,000 parking spaces and the entire event staff and, and the uh, crew that will work here that, that already knows how to run big events. It's a perfect combination. Well, now that you've had a chance to look at this beautiful state-of-the-art facility and meet the people that made it happen, we'll see you tomorrow for Distance Day. And if we don't see you tomorrow, the 400 IM is Friday morning. Be here.